Hello guys, welcome back to the Cork City Hit the Snake career mode. I have here a special guest with me, my other younger sister. Hello! What is your name? Ruby. Tell the people what you like. Animals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> right. Into this Dundalk match, Mr. Love actually can kick the ball so hard that he can go through wood. See? It didn't go through. That did go through. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Are you blind? <laughs> no. And it's crap. Come on, give them the kickoff. I hope everyone had a really good Christmas and got what they wanted of Santa Claus. And I really hope that you had a great New Year's Eve and New Year's Day as well. And Happy New Year to all of you watching. Uh, comment below what you got for Christmas. Any games? I'd love to know what Santa brought you. Do you want to tell the people what you got for okay. Christmas? I got a PS4. And what did you get with the PS4? Headset for it. And what the hell does the headset do? Uh, I mean, you can like talk and stuff, but you can't. You can like talk to people online. Okay, and have any? Have you had any weirdos talk to you yet? No. Okay, that's good. Anyway, um, I got squishy toys. Wait, what the hell is a squishy toy? It's like a stress toy. Woo! Why do you want a stress toy? You're never stressed. You go to primary school. It's the easiest thing in the whole world. It's actually not. I have to do you go to class school. Work. Yeah, it's simple. You go to school. I'm fifth class. I don't doing care what. Sixth class work. I don't care. We're intelligent in this family. We have to know things that we're doing. Yeah, but I have to do Irish. Yeah, Irish is a big of crap. And it's too hard because the teacher expects me to know it. I don't well, why don't you go? Listen, bitch. I don't want to do Irish. <laughs> I don't want to do Irish. It's so annoying. Well, tell her I said you don't have to do Irish anymore. I don't have to do Irish anymore because my brother said that you're shit. Here we go. Mr. Anyway. Class Act. Class Act. Boom. Boom. Oh. Oh, anyway. Uh, I got a Believe It or Not book. So all you got for Christmas was a book? No, I told you. I got PS4, a headset, okay. stress okay. toys, okay. and... Okay. Uh, believe it or not, book and another book. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. I feel bad about the books because nobody likes books, but uh, other than that, I no, suppose it's okay. The, the book. Look at this, Despacito, Despacito. Ah, la, 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 la. He lost the ball, sorry, I interrupted you. Continue. La, 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 la. Anyway, uh, it's a believe it or not book, and it's actually good because you don't actually have to read that much in it. <laughs> 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 that sounds like the worst book ever. <laughs> So it's a book that you got and you don't even read it because there's well, not even enough reading no, no, no. in it. You do read in it. There's a lot of reading in there, but you don't have to read it. So what the hell do you do? You can just look at the pictures. That's boring. Do I have, do I have the Rubanus book? It's not because it's like... Oh, I skilled him! Get in the box. Oh! That was such good play. Class act. So last week, me and Jack were on a podcast. Okay. The podcast is called The Norm. I'm going to put a picture of it up now. Mm. Uh, subscribe to it on YouTube. It's really, really good. It's run by this guy called James Orr, who does his own music as well. He's a friend of me and Jack's. Really, really lovely man. Um, but we were on the podcast. And he was asking us all types of questions. That podcast, I think he was saying, is going to be out on January 10th. And he has given us permission to post it here as well. But I would like if you could look it up on the iTunes podcast Eight app. Days. Thank you very much. <laughs> Eight days. <laughs> Eight days. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd love if you looked it up. Um, and also to go along with that because of him being such a lovely man. Along with Morrissey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah oh, I thought that was going in. It looked like it went in, didn't it? Wait, replay it, replay it. Here we go now. We all saw that glitch. That we all saw the glitch. Is there grass in the air? Did you see the grass in the air there? Did you see that? What is going on? Anyway, so to go along with us being featured on the podcast, the Norm podcast by James Orr, um, we're going to have one of his songs in the Hit the Snake playlist. It's my favourite song off his EP. It's called Don't Get Used to Me. Um, such a good song. Jack was involved with creating this EP. It's such a good EP. The songs are fantastic. The quality, the instruments, the singing, it's just brilliant. So I'm going to put my favourite song off that on the playlist. I hope you enjoy that. And please do check up the uh, iTunes link 
that will be below because it, even though I'm going to post it here, it's nice to give the guy a bit of support and he was nice enough to have us on and I think it's only fair. So a big shout out to James Orr and I think he watches the videos as well. When we were actually going to the podcast before it started, he gave me and Jack two books. Now, I know I was giving out to my little sister there a minute ago about having... Books! Yeah, how crap books are. But this was different. Books for Christmas are crap. Books as an unexpected gift are fantastic. So he gave me and Jack two books. He gave Jack Tank Girl, which is a great graphic novel, which funnily enough really fitted in to the whole thing about Lara Croft uh, with our video because Tank Girl was what Lara Croft was based on. Great graphic novel. Um, he gave me The Art of War and the message inside was so nice. Really, really nice. I'm going to show that to you now. As you can see, it's a Brian Clough reference. If any of you are too young to remember Brian Clough. No, I don't remember Brian Clough. I was only born in 1991. But uh, he was the best manager England never had. What a ball! <laughs> oh my God, he got kicked in the head. Um, so, big thank you again to James Orr for the lovely book and the hospitality and the niceness. Mr. Love! Mr. Love again! What's your favourite thing about Mr. Love? That he gets goals. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a defender and he gets goals all the time for me. Defender? Yeah, he's a defender. He's actually a right back. But I play him in, in the centre defensive midfielder because he's pretty good. He doesn't play for Cork in real life. Ah. Oh, oh yeah. Because you get people and you put them on the team. Yes, because I am the manager. I will decide. Thank you very much. We're winning against Dundalk as per usual, lads. Effect on dog. We were at the match. We were at, that's right. Do you, want to tell, do you want to tell the people about the match? Okay, so we were at the match. Uh, um, yeah, that's, that's your <laughs> fault now? Cork. Did you see what happened? Cork against Dundor. Against who? <laughs> Dundor. Cork against who? Dundor? <laughs> I said Dundor. Dundalk. And otherwise, was Dundalk got a goal. And we were all depressed and sad. And then we got sad. And, but the funny thing was, was nearly all of the crowd was Cork fans. That's true. And like, literally like, what do you know, the chairs with the stairs in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. There was literally one section of chairs that were Dundalk fans out of the whole stadium. And um, then... Uh, Cork got a goal and then we went to penalties and Cork got uh, the most penalties and then Cork won and then we were laughing at Dundalk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a that's 11 year old girl describing the whole story. I, I, there's a vlog up on the channel of that day. Oh, and my we, soccer team went. Yeah, we all went up with my sister's soccer team. She plays soccer for Watergrass Hill United. Big shout out to them for being so good to bring us up to Dublin that day for the final. Great day, great day out. What a match to be on. We had a vlog up, uh, just the FIA Cup final vlog. I'll link that below as well in the description. Uh, great day out and I got the penalties. I got all Cork's penalties filmed and it was Mr. Sandcastle's, oh my God, my heart. It was Mr. Sandcastle's who actually got the final penalty for us, the deciding penalty. And what's even more weird is I'm mentioning this, I just reminded myself, five minutes before I started making this video, oh, yeah. Mr. Sandcastles actually tweeted me, and he now knows about his actual nickname, Mr. Sandcastles, because no one wants to call him Kieran. It's Mr. Sandcastles, except Alex. We've got the ball. Despa fucking Cito. Woo! Oh, my sweetest Jesus. I said sweetest Jesus, not Swedish Jesus, which is, I realise in editing sometimes it sounds like I say Swedish Jesus, but I assure you Jesus is not real and or if he was he wouldn't be Swedish. Get rid of it. Clear it! Oh thank fucking Jesus. I'm not playing by the way. She watching. is, she's playing as Dundalk and that's why she's being really bad. I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm only messing, she's not. So you're going to tell the people what, what team you follow? Like, you, obviously you follow Cork, but who else do you follow? Man United. 
Yeah. Don't follow Liverpool. Yeah, nobody for yeah. Do you know what? Actually, does. okay. Let, let's not let's not talk about Liverpool and Man United because we have a lot of people watching this who watches these videos and they might like Liverpool and I don't want them to get angry. <gasps> Finish it. What was that? <laughs> Jesus. Gannon? That's the bad guy from Zelda. <laughs> What's he doing playing for Dundalk? Now he's playing for it because he's a bad guy. What a loser. Also, I am running for president. Oh, you're talking about your crazy <laughs> lady. <the> comments. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ruby represents the comments because she's giving out... Oh! oh. Finish that sentence? Yeah, Ruby is the com representing all of you because every time I do make a mistake, she's commenting on it. So, uh Every time you watch me and get frustrated, she's in the exact same boat. <laughs> so I am running for president, and I'm winning. People are voting for me. Awesome, church. Go out by corner. Right, we're going to try my corner trick, right? The quick flick, that's what I call it. The quick flick! The kick, the quick flick. Yes! yes! The kick, what did I call it? The quick flick. The quick flick worked! Who scored? I don't know. Who is that? Despacito! Despacito! Say it all for your clothes and jump out the window. He promised to do that. Did I? Yeah, you did. No, I don't remember. I just think you're a small but small but weird. I know! So you yeah, well, you're definitely small. Well, the people will decide. What's going on? Simon Church is injured. People decide oh. for him to jump out the window naked and sing Despacito. No, thank you. Right. Hey! No, listen, listen, no, no, we have to talk about something sad now, all right? Mr. Champion is joining Linfield on loan for the year, right? This guy scored the guy, he equalised for us in the FA Cup final in real life. He's been great for us in the season. He's after going up to Belfast to join Linfield for this, this coming season in real life. And I'm really sad about it. He's a great, great player. He's not leaving us, though. He's cemented his place, and he is the Mr. Champion. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, if that was a glitch, that was a brilliant glitch. Oh my god. Oh. Mark got in the way. Mark actually saved it. What a fucking yeah, goalkeeper. It was actually kind of a glitch as well because it was no, like. No, no. Mark doesn't do glitches. Mark only does the best goalkeeping in the he, world. Well, soccer, the soccer ball did it. Do you know it? David De Gea from Man United? Yeah. He's actually a huge fan of Mark for Mark McNulty for Cork. Did you know that? No. We learn facts <laughs> every day. Well, that's a real fact now. I promise you that. Yes, Mr. Love. Mr. Love. Mr. Love is the way we love him. Oh, we openly love him. Come on. Shoot. Oh! Ah! Who's this? This cross, is Griffin. Cross, cross, cross. cross. The captain. With a captain's ball. Oh. Finish it. Cross. CLASS ACT! Is that the class act? Well, I think it is. It is the class act. That's Phil Linnett's son. Did you know that? Who? Do you know Phil Linnett, the bass player for Tin Lizzy? Do you know the boys are back in town? Yeah. Yeah, the guy who sings that. That's his son. Cool. <laughs> that's Again, another, that's real another real fact. fact. Another day. real fact. That is the truth. Another fact. Do you know you laugh 15 times a day? <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst fact ever. It is, it's true. What about someone who's got depression and doesn't laugh at all? What if, what if the person had no mouth? No, I don't know. Then they can't laugh. Or are they going to laugh out their asshole? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. Well, it's time to celebrate because we won this. This is, like, this is like a cup final almost. Get rid of it. It doesn't matter. You can score if you want, lads. It's going to do nothing like. Mark, throw the ball. There's some man. Imagine now they get like four goals. That's it? Ah, free kick, come on. Ooh. Oh my god. The, the, like the posts are getting walloped. They are not, it's, uh, they are not respecting the equipment. Shout out to Dr. Benji. We won it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That is it. Moving on. Moving on. Train Despacito. Hold on now. Monthly scout report. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy up to the senior team. 
so that the cork board get off my back because I'm shit sick of getting emails from them. Give note about me. Grand, if you want to leave, you can leave. There's no problem. Okay, on to the next match. It was the same path. No, we've done well beat. I mean, they're oh, whatever. Skip the match. Come on. All right, a draw. Despacito scored again. Actually, Despacito's number just reminded me. I got a comment below, and can I don't want Canada's job. If I am to get any international management job, I want the Irish job, and I will take that. That's about it. Lovely, 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 lovely. The the cork board are really happy. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Right. Someone commented below in the last episode when I when I asked them saying that what number do you want Despacito to be? I had seven there just for a while. I got a good suggestion to put number twenty four there in remembrance for our good boy Shawnee Maguire until he comes back. Because this guy is the heart and soul of Cork, along with Mr. Sandcastles. Oh, that's the end of the season. Right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Season one is over of this. Um, we were, were the league champions. We're qualified for the Champions League. Despacito is going up. Up, 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 up. Let's get some more training into him. Three more days. We'll try and get as much training as possible. Can't believe it. The season's finally over. Up to 74. Oh, he's such a good player. I don't want the Paraguay job. There's Reject. Actually, there's a really weird song on this game. Something for your mind, <laughs> mind, mind. Let's sign some more players. Do we have 92? Pierce McGee. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Pierce McGee. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna... 89. Pierce O'Grady. Right, we're going to leave all of them get scouted. Yeah, scout them further. We'll find out about them. Moving on. One more day for Despacito. Training. Stop, stop, stop. Despacito. More training for you, my friend. Lovely, lovely. All the way up. Lovely, lovely. Imagine if you lost every match in... The whole season. Are you crazy? on Cork City. We'd never do that. No, but what if you did? Well, I would never would, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's like saying, what if Messi played for uh, West Brom? She's just looking confused at me. <laughs> right, one more training, and then the season's ended. Yeah. Yes, 75 rated. Right, that's really good. So we actually technically have a gold rated player in the Cork team. There are going to be so many teams coming in for him. Season review. The, the board could not be happier. Delighted to have you stay at. Brilliant. They're going to have me next season. I'm going nowhere as Cork manager. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time in whatever episode it is. Goodbye. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Who hit the stage? Videos for no one. No one watches now. Who hit the stage? Looking at lovely things we have